Yo, what is up? Um, I was about to say young AEs. Um, what is up, guys? Using A here. Um, sorry, I haven't been able to post a tutorial lately. I've been studying my ass off. Uh, but I got all my hard finals out of the way. I took them two of my hardest today. I have two more to go on Thursday. And uh, I have no school on Friday because I exempted all of Friday. Yeah. So, um, real quick. I don't know how much time this tutorial is going to take up, but I'm going to be doing a tutorial over something I created called the sex, or, uh, sex ring. And see for, see for yourself, it's a little loud. But you see that ring? Yeah, I came up with it last night, and I was like, oh, that'd be pretty cool. I'll use it in edit. And today I was thinking, I had my handy dandy notebook out. I was coming up with ideas and I didn't have any, and then I was like, oh, let's do the sex ring. That'll be cool. So here it is. So uh, let me just take a glance. Uh, all right, I think I should remember how to do this. So go new composition, make it 720 by 720, you want it to be square, and take your uh, layer, new solid, and you want the solid to match your settings, and then, um, look up fractal noise and I'll come up with this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ellipse tool and double click and now it'll come up like this and what we're gonna want to do is take your ellipse tool again and double click wait with it selected double click alright and you'll have two masks mask one and mask two mask two you're gonna wanna go to add change that to subtract and you want to go mask expansion, go to negative 30, negative 80. Now let's go negative 60. Good balance. All right, there we go. Actually, now let's go negative 80 because I'm going to teach you guys a neat little trick. I'll actually go negative 90 just to be safe. Open up mask 1 and go to mask expansion and go to negative, negative 15 should be fine. So this way... It'll be a perfect circle, but if you have it at zero, and I go full, it'll cut off part of the edges, and you don't want that. So I'll go negative 15, just so I can see it. And so now we're stuck with this, and real quick, I want to change the evolution. So it makes it look like it's moving. I like that. It looks really cool. So I'm going to keyframe at zero, go forward to 15 seconds, I guess, and change it to 15. It won't be too noticeable though, but I mean, every every little bit counts. And then next, we're gonna look up tint, and we're gonna tint it. Uh, keep the white, and then we're gonna change the black to any color we want. So you can change it to blue. I uh, try to keep it a light color because we're gonna add a neat little trick. So I'm gonna add this type of blue to it, and then we're gonna look up star glow. Track code Star Glow. If you don't have it, then use Normal Glow. But Star Glow works better because you can change this to any. You can change the color maps. Anything I'm gonna use Star Glow because I prefer it. So I want it to look. Actually, I'll just play around with settings. Magic and Aura. That looks pretty cool. Change this to about four on the boost light, and change the streak to about five. So that looks decent. I want to kind of change to a five color. This isn't making much of a difference. How about 12? There's a little difference. And the reason why we toned it down all the way to 15 is because the glow will bring it out a little more. And I'm actually going to bring it over to 20. And that should actually should be fine. And it looks pretty cool. Um, Bring that to one. Actually, I'll bring it to two. Keep messing around with settings until I like it. There we go. Try fire. I haven't. Fire looks pretty cool. All right, I'll keep it there and stop messing with it with now. All right, right now. So now another thing we're gonna want to add is a uh, gradient, a four color gradient. Gradient. Uh, am I spelling it right? Yeah, I am. All right. Drag on four color gradient and it'll look like that. Now change it to add. And it kind of has its uh, cool thingy McJig. And you can change your opacity down like 50. 
if you want it to still have some fire in it or not but I say it looks like a hmm might look this might actually look a little better if I went to the fractal noise, actually the tint. Let's see what it looks if I put a, or it looks a little better if I put it a black. Um, change to a darker color. See how it looks. And darker color looks a little cooler. Um, the only thing that you need to worry about if when you put a darker color is the streak length needs to be lower, so it doesn't have those weird streaks. But you can see that we have a little pink popping out over here, blue, uh, light blue over here. We got a little red down here. It's pretty cool and we have some yellow over here and some green with our uh, star glow so yeah um depending on the shade of your tint you're gonna wanna fix up your star glow um, the streak length but I like this because you can kinda see the clouds moving ish so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put the scale keyframe rotation keyframe I'm gonna move forward 100 frames I'm gonna rotate this about four times and scale it up to about actually let's see it one when let's see how this goes actually I'm not I can't scale it up over here I'm not allowed to scale it up in this composition I have to go to final then I have to go to project so I'm messing up so much I'm going to turn that off I'm gonna go right when this guy shoots comp three drag it on turn off my twitch and yeah, that's the problem, because we have to bring it back to 100. And there we go. And then I will actually change the scale to about 160. Yeah, right there seems about good. Go all the way to 10, and then I'll bring it, just drag it all the way out until it's not visible, or until it's barely visible. And then I'll go 30 frames forward and bring it out. Until it's all the way gone. And that's the trick, fellas. And you can also add a um, levels. Where's my levels? And a levels real quick. Right when he shoots, I'm going to make it really bright. Get this all the way over here, go forward about 20 frames, bring it back down to normal. And you can also tint it a color. I'm going to, you can tint it red. No, you can't. Fail. My bad. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you can't tell with my levels. My bad. But, making a lot of mistakes this tutorial, but it's okay because it's sex ring. And I'm just kind of improvising here because it's what I do. And you can also add some blur. Um, fast blur. I'll add some fast blur. Right when he shoots, I'll have it at like 25. And you go 20 fr 30 frames, bring it down to zero. And that should be good. I'm just going to easy ease his keyframes. I'm going to show you a little preview. Um, so leave in the comments what you want me to do a tutorial on. Um, I'm probably going to skip the complex tutorials for over the summer which is this Friday for me if I didn't mention it earlier um, I'm really excited for it and if you're wondering the two finals I have to take next are English and French um, it should be relatively easy so yeah and there's a tutorial um, mentioned some neat little tricks in here hopefully you guys can remember it <laughs> And that looks pretty cool. Um, I left out some stuff, but it's okay. Like, I like some really complicated detail stuff that you probably couldn't even notice. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's a little more creative, a little more advanced. Um, kind of bringing in stuff from all different places over After Effects and um, just improvising and screwing around. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and has been using AE and I'm out. Peace.